This is going to be a great vacation, Tia. Yeah, I surely agree, Mom. But how are we going to get there? Hmm, I haven't thought about that yet. There are so many modes of transportation. We can choose any of those. Yes, that's right. Let's choose the transportation that's best for our trip. There are various kinds of transportation. Let's first learn about land transportation. Well, this is a bicycle. It has two wheels and is one of the simplest modes of transportation. But riding a bicycle won't be the best option on a rainy day. Here is a motorcycle. It has two wheels. A motorcycle can go pretty fast and that's why you always need to wear a helmet. This is a car and it's a very commonly used vehicle. It has four wheels, two on both sides. A car can fit a maximum of four people depending on its size. Most families opt for a car. Here is a bus. You've probably seen your school bus. It has four wheels as well, but the wheels are quite bigger than the wheels of a car as the bus itself is pretty big. A bus can carry more than 20 people at once, but this depends on the size of the bus. This is a truck. A truck has four big wheels. Trucks usually have a lot of storage space at the back to transport goods from one place to another. This is a train. It carries people or goods from one place to another. Trains are usually used to travel long distances. Now let's move on to water transportation. This here is a sailboat. They move with the help of wind. A canoe is long and narrow. They are propelled with paddles. A boat is one of the simplest modes of water transportation. Boats were used by humans for transportation since early civilization when they used to make boats with just simple logs. A motorboat goes pretty fast. Motorboats usually have space for six passengers or less. A submarine is somewhat like an underwater boat. The depth of the sea is usually explored by submarines. Last but not least, air transportation. This is a plane. Planes are commonly used to travel long distances. A plane can hold more than 500 passengers. This is a helicopter. It flies with the help of its propeller. A helicopter is usually used in rescues. Here is a hot air balloon. As the name tells you, a small fire is usually used to create hot air that will help the balloon to rise. A space rocket is used to travel in outer space. If you want to learn more about the solar system, and the planets, make sure to check out the video I made on the solar system. The link for the video is provided in the description. You see Tia, there are many modes of transportation. You're right mom. Okay, so what vehicle do you think will be best for our trip? Hmm, the place we are going to go is pretty far from home. So, I think a plane would be the best option. That's fantastic Tia, so what are we waiting for? Let's get going. Make sure to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up.